everyone welcome today we are going to talk about a sticky situation of honey and honey crystallization in our program beyond the beehive unveiling the secrets of honey have you ever opened your jar of golden goodness only to find it cloudy thick or even completely solid don't worry you're not alone crystallized honey is a common sight but it often leads to confusion is it spoiled is it still safe to eat the truth is honey crystallization is a natural phenomena that actually tells us something good about the honey we are holding today we'll deep dive into the fascinating world of honey and uncover the sweet truth about crystallization we'll also bust some common myths and learn how to enjoy crystallized honey in all its delicious forms Let's discuss honey's diverse benefits. Honey boasts a treasure trove of health benefits and a fascinating history. It is a natural superfood, a staple in kitchens worldwide, and a revered natural remedy for centuries. Packed with essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, it offers a delightful and healthy alternative to processed natural sugars. Here's a glimpse into some of honey's benefits. Honey has been used for millennia to soothe cough, heal wounds and boost immunity. Its antibacterial properties make it a natural remedy for sore throat and minor cuts. Weight management aid. Studies suggest that honey can help regulate blood sugar and curb cravings, potentially aiding in weight management efforts. immunity booster rich in antioxidants honey helps fight off infections and strengthens the body's natural defenses energy enhancer honey provides a natural source of energy ideal for athletes and those with active lifestyles heart health hero honey may contribute to lowering bad cholesterol and improving blood flow promoting overall heart health digestive aid Honey can soothe an upset stomach and promote healthy gut bacteria aiding digestion. Now let's welcome on our show our first guest Dr. Naveen Kumar Patle, Additional Commissioner and Executive Director NBB Department of Agriculture Cooperation and Farmers Welfare Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare at Government of India. Today Dr. Patle joins us to discuss the significance of honey. Dr. Patle as the executive director of the National Bee Board first up can you please elaborate on the initiatives taken by NBB to promote awareness about honey crystallization among beekeepers and consumers in India yeah the national bee board it's a national level agency in the country which are promoting bee sector especially scientific bee beekeeping in the country uh, with the uh, with the objective to promote honey production not only honey production but also to promote the pollination in the uh, crops and uh, as we know the pollination in the crops are uh, is very much important to promote or to increase the production and the yield of the crops and as far as the uh, the honey sector is concerned we are uh, promoting different kinds of honey depends on the flora av available in the country and uh, as we know in our country having different agroclimatic conditions we are having different kind of flora flora means different kind of plants available in different climates and every plants need the pollination with the help of honey bees so here the role of honey bees are very important and in the in the in the globe the the importance of honey bees are realized everywhere wherever the pollination is required so nowadays as a national bee board we are promoting uh, this sector especially uh, bee keeping sector with the help of different technologies uh, for promotion of uh, production productivity then post harvest management especially the processing of honey uh, making up different products out of honey and also we are focusing on research uh, to promote this sector uh, for livelihood promotion and also Uh, we have also declared beekeeping as a fifth agri input 
so that the beekeepers they can take the benefits of the beekeeping sector and apart from that national bee board organize various programs with the help of state governments with the help of beekeeping societies and other stakeholders to promote beekeeping uh, in the country how can honey producers ensure the quality and purity of honey especially when dealing with crystallized honey to maintain consumer trust in the market generally uh, there is a very wrong perception in the consumers the honey is crystallized and they they uh, consider as impure but it is doesn't like this uh, honey is crystallized is a natural phenomena depends on the as i said depends on the flora depends on pollens and also depends on the fg ratio fructose glucose ratio so whenever any bee keepers if they are they are from selling the crystallized honey they should simply uh, say uh, it is a natural phenomena and uh, it is a uh, uh, when it is crystallized again it can be used in different way and uh, when it gets some temperature again it is it comes in original form so in the generally in winter season the honey is crystallized another is any honey whether it is crystallized or not there are some sampling procedure testing procedures if that honey is uh, tested uh, tested through that procedures even if it is crystallized then we uh, we should uh, we should not worry about that we should not think about the impurity only the thing is that adding anything from outside uh, is is a cause of uh, i mean uh, this the impure honey considering the potential health benefits of honey can you comment on the impact of crystallization on the nutritional value of honey yeah uh, this is a good question uh, the crystallization or non crystallization uh, from health point of view uh, i can i cannot say uh, there is any uh, there is any difference but honey if you are using the honey in daily life or you are using honey with lukewarm water or you are you are using honey with uh, chapatis or breads especially the crystallized honey definitely it will give the good impact on human health another point is nowadays people are using honey in different forms like uh, uh, even though in daily life they are uh, in morning time they are using with lukewarm water or uh, uh, also in evening time they are taking the honey in especially in uh, uh, if, if you are feeling any cough and cold people are using the honey with lukewarm water so it has, it is giving good impact on our, our health and uh, a national bee board uh, also has uh, given some projects to uh, observe the effect of honey uh, uh, on different diseases we have given one project to the iit rurki to find out the effect of using honey uh, to to uh, check uh, the colon cancer also so the, the study is going on so these kind of studies we are uh, supporting to various organizations also we are developing the database especially the the characteristics of different honeys available in the country so that we can understand uh, suppose mustard honey is there or acacia honey is there eucalyptus honey is there uh, coriander honey is there uh, any kind of honey available in the country what kind of characters are there what kind of attributes are there and how one honey is different than other honey so we are identifying or we are uh, working on uh, that this aspect and uh, very soon uh, we'll be getting the data so that we can also say scientifically this uh, suppose the any honey is there what kind of effect on the human body is there that can be also a part of our recommendation dr patli looking ahead what is your vision for nbb in terms of promoting research on honey and its potential benefits for indian consumers uh, as we know uh, we are produ producing around 142000 metric ton of honey in the country and uh, last year we have exported around 80000 metric ton of honey uh, in different parts of the world so nowadays as i said pollination is very important in some crops without pollination the fruit setting and seed setting is not there so one of the major ob objective is pollination then uh, then we comes to the product so honey is a product and various different by products are also there like pollens are uh, pollen is a by product again uh, royal jelly is a by product venom is a by product then uh, uh, <coughs> apart from that uh, the beeswax Uh, is also a byproduct so these byproducts are getting momentum now they are getting the good market so uh, uh, whenever we 
talk about the promotion of this sector we have started one national beekeeping and honey mission with the objective to promote production post harvest management and research also in research part uh, even though in some parts of the country we are still working with very traditional practices and these traditional practices uh, generally uh, gives very uh, i mean uh, uh, the the quality or you can say the yield of the honey is poor in traditional practices uh, we talk about the scientific practices using the scientific bee hives and again the scientific uh, bee i mean the colonies and different species and also the floral availability in the season these all uh, these all factors affect the production of honey so in research we are generally focusing on the productivity also and nowadays there is a challenge uh, for some residual uh, effect on honey so we are also working on that aspect to how to avoid the residual effect on honey and another is how to increase the productivity of honey then another important aspect is the value added products of honey nowadays the honey is consumed in various ways Uh, especially honey drinks are there honey comb is also there in different you, if you if you go to the uh, hotels especially five star hotels you will find the uh, honey comb and in the breakfast also people are people wants to use or they are preferring the honey comb in the breakfast also so honey comb is one of the product which is also being promoted uh, and also it is very useful if you take honey comb uh, with uh, with your uh, in your breakfast uh, especially from health point of view Thank you Dr Partley this is valuable information for both beekeepers and honey consumers yeah thank you suresha for uh, uh, making this conversation especially beekeeping sector and especially to promote this sector in the country uh, with respect to the beekeepers with respect to the farmers and they can understand and, uh, and a very important point is the consumer point of view the perception the wrong perception which are which, are, which is prevailing in consumers about the crystallized honey Uh, so uh, i hope uh, this uh, uh, entire conversation will uh, uh, will uh, give the boost up the consumption of honey in the country now as per fssai report crystallization is a natural process that occurs in pure unadulterated honey processed honey often heated and stripped of its beneficial properties is less likely to crystallize so the next time you encounter crystals in your honey jar rejoice it is a testament to the honey's purity and natural state now let's hear from some viewers to what they have to say zyada kuch nahi pata but ye ki jo jam jata hai shahad sardiyon mein लेकिन इट्स नॉर्मल कुछ ऐसी दिक्कत आ रही है वो तो एटमॉस्फेरिक है एक नेचुरल लिक्विड है जो जम जाता है ड्यू टू द एटमॉस्फेयर गेटिंग कोल्ड ऐसा मिथ नहीं हनी के खाने से अदरक शहद कहते हैं जब गला खराब हो घर का एक देसी नुस्खा होता है कि थोड़ी सी अदरक में कूट के शहद मिलाओ एंड उसको खाओ तो उससे गला खुल जाता है गला ठीक हो जाता है हनी का बेनिफिट यही हो सकता है कि वो एक नेचुरल शुगर है हम उसको चीनी के बदले अगर यूज़ करेंगे तो वो बेटर रहेगा हमारी हेल्थ के लिए कभी कभी जैसे खांसी वगैरह हो जाती जुकाम हो जाता तो उसमें काफ़ी हेल्प करता है शायद मैम जो शुगर होता है वो ज़्यादातर फैट को इंक्रीज करता है लेकिन जो हनी होता है अगर हम उसको गर्म पानी के साथ अगर हम उसको पीते हैं तो वो हमें बहुत ही ज़्यादा बेनिफिट देता है जैसे कि लोग मतलब अपना वेट डिक्रीज़ करने के लिए भी मॉर्निंग में जब वो उठते हैं तो सुबह में गुनगुने पानी के साथ वो शहद डाल उसको पीना ज़्यादा पसंद करते हैं और शुगर को तो अवॉइड ही करना चाहिए बेनिफिट्स यही है कि लाइक like हनी को हम लोग आइज में भी यूज़ करते हैं और जैसा मैं शुरुआत से कह रही हूँ कि उसको गुनगुन में पानी के साथ पीते हैं तो वो हमारी बॉडी को डिटॉक्सीफाई करने में काफ़ी हेल्पफुल होता है वॉट डू यू नो अबाउट क्रिस्टलाइज हनी दीज आर ग्रेट क्वेश्चन एंड वील एड्रेस दीज कंसर्न एंड मोर थ्रू आउट द शो एंड हैव सोल्यूशन टू दीज क्वेश्चन हैव यू एवर नोटिस योर हनी डिवेलपिंग अ ग्रेनी टेक्स्चर और क्रिस्टल्स especially during colder months we are not honey lovers this is a natural phenomena called crystallization and it is a good sign honey is a super saturated solution of natural sugars primarily glucose and fructose imagine a sugary drink that becomes cloudy when chilled because it holds more sugar than the water can dissolve crystallization in honey works similarly 
as temperatures drop, glucose molecules come together forming the crystals that we see. Crystallization is a natural process that occurs in pure honey which preserves its goodness by changing to a super saturated state forming crystals. So the next time you encounter crystals in your honey jar, rejoice. It is a testament to the honey's purity and natural state. Interestingly, crystallized honey, also known as creamed honey, is a popular choice in countries with high honey consumption. In places like Germany and Australia, consumers relish the unique texture and spread ability of creamed honey. It is a versatile ingredient enjoyed on toast, blended into smoothies and baked goods and even incorporated into marinades for a touch of sweetness. Honey's significance extends far beyond its culinary uses. It has held a special place in various cultures throughout history. Let's explore some fascinating insights with Ms. Manjari Chandra, founder of Manjari Wellness. Ms. Chandra, thank you for speaking to us. How do you incorporate crystallized honey considering its potential textural differences into your wellness practices and recommendations? So, if you look at Ayurveda, I mean, we do do some amount of naturopathy in Ayurveda. We come from a land where Ayurveda was our, you know, original science. There's a lot of benefits that Ayurveda lists of honey, which is, you know, great for your digestion, good for your heart health, also good for vision, um, good to lubricate uh, your joints. These are enamored in the Ayurveda, not proven too much by modern medicine, but we do know that uh, you know, if you consume honey, it has beneficial effects on most of your systems, your immune system, your digestion, your cardiometabolic health, uh, you know, skin, uh, vision, all of these are benefited to some extent or have some amount of, you know, benefit that they can get from consumption of honey. So it can add to health benefits on, on an overall systemic level. Also, it's always a better choice than white sugar. So it's also not giving you the, you know, the ill effects that white sugar comes with, uh, which is a very high glycemic load, too much of increase in insulin production. Also, it has, you know, substances that are used uh, to mill and process the white sugar, which are lacking in the honey. So you're, you're eating much cleaner form of sugar when you eat honey. Ms. Chandra, I'd also like to understand as the founder of Manjari Wellness, how do you incorporate honey, particularly crystallized honey, into your wellness practices and recommendations? Yeah. So there is crystallization is a physical process, which means that if the honey is sourced in a certain way, if the fructose, glucose, water content of honey is of a specific ratio and honey is stored at a certain temperature, there is a possibility that honey will get converted into crystals, which is a physical form of the honey. Crystallization of honey can cause the honey to just look a little different, but there is no change in the properties, in the usage, in the benefits that honey offers. So there is absolutely no difference between a non-crystallized fluid form of honey and a, a crystallized format of honey. From a holistic wellness perspective, do you see any specific advantages to using crystallized honey over regular honey? Yeah, so you know when people pick up honey, they want it to be a viscous fluid. Whereas the, the thing about honey is that depending on the glucose, fructose and water ratio, a certain part of honey will crystallize. It will also crystallize if, depending on the temperature at which the honey is stored. So if the temperature, uh, the sourcing of honey is of a specific type, then there are chances that there will be crystal formation in the honey. If there is crystal formation, there is nothing wrong with that honey. It is absolutely as safe as any other form of honey, which is liquid at room temperature. So there's no need to, you know, worry about crystallization because it's a natural property of, of the, the honey itself. Having said that, uh, if you uh, think that, you know, you don't, don't want to uh, allow the honey to crystallize, then you have to store it at the, ri at the right temperature and not, you know, freeze it a lot. Can you share some unique ways to integrate crystallized honey into various wellness routines such as skin care or natural remedies? Yeah, so uh, honey is one of the things that 
is advised for skin care people with dry skin uh, people with skin which is sagging or has pigmentation and blemishes it's a good thing to add to uh, if you're making a mud pack or a face pack at home with let's say turmeric or basin you can always add curd and honey to it that improves the viscosity of that pack and it, it gives better benefits it can be used on the skin like a face pack it can be used in the things that we make for example liquids that we drink for example detox drink and lemon water it can be added to that which is good for your skin and your overall digestive health and honey can also be uh, you know uh, is also a part by the way of a lot of cosmetic products that are being uh, you know sold across brands these products also contain extracts of honey uh, in uh, and that is also um, a reason uh, because of which uh, the reason because of which honey is being used is because it's beneficial overall for our skin it also adds suppleness radiance to our skin so it can be used for sure in your experience, Ms. Chandra, do clients have misconceptions about crystallized honey? How do you address these concerns and educate them about its benefits? Um, not specifically. Uh, it's not that, you know, there are too many concerns and crystallization is not a, uh, I mean, I, I don't get many questions around that. Questions are more about whether we should have honey or whether it is a better alternative than sugar. So that, those questions are always there, whether it's safe to consume honey and if if honey is a better choice than sugar or sugar syrups or artificial sweeteners that's a question we always get so yes we do tell them that um, honey being more natural being more slightly more beneficial uh, so those are the questions we typically get in clinical setting looking ahead do you foresee any future trends or growing interest in incorporating crystallized honey into various wellness practices or products offered by wellness programs it's, I mean, crystallized honey is like any other form, a, a normal honey, it's absolutely normal, it, only you have crystals formed in it, which is the physical amorphous honey converted into crystal honey. So it's only the physical state of honey that has changed, the properties, the nutritional value, the sweetness, all of it is not, not, has not changed. So it can be used like normal honey, you can add it to warm water with lemon and have it in the morning if you like to have honey like that, you can have it add it to your desserts or puddings that you're meat making at home instead of using white sugar you could also use the honey as you know as a base of whatever you know syrups that you're using at home instead of using again a commercially available uh, sugar or commercially available syrups so crystallized honey can be used like any other form of um, honey would be used in whatever way in cooking it is being used in the house um, it is safe to use crystallized honey like normal honey which is not crystallized. Thank you Ms. Chandra, your insights are inspiring. Yeah, thank you so much Suvesha for having me on the show, it was really nice to be here and, and good to talk about a common topic which a lot of people have misconceptions about. We've learned that crystallized honey is a sign of good quality and can be enjoyed in many ways. But what if you prefer your honey a bit runnier? The key is gentle heat. As we come towards the end of this show, we learnt crystallization is a natural process that occurs in pure, unadulterated honey, processed honey, often heated and stripped of its beneficial properties, is less likely to crystallize. So the next time you encounter crystals in your honey jar, rejoice. It is a testament to the honey's purity and natural state. Crystallized honey is perfectly safe to consume as is. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.